Alpha Math Lab, Lab 15, Irregular Triangle. Select Lab 15 from Math Lab Home Menu. Or select Labs and click Lab 15, Scaling or Irregular Triangle. Unit of measurement is millimeter. The present color, shape color is orange. The triangle has three sides. We can change the length of three sides with these scroll bar buttons. Side A 51 millimeter, side B 53 millimeter, and side C 52 millimeter. Click calculate. Here, side A 51, side B 53, and side C 52. The perimeter is equal to 156. Semi perimeter, which means half of perimeter, S is 78 millimeter. And we use the formula area equals square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. And finally, we get the area of the triangle as 1170 square millimeter. Draw the diagram. The note is scaling triangle because all sides are different. Let us change the side length and make each side all the sides are 52. Now it is an equilateral triangle. We have a note equilateral triangle because all sides are equal. Change the side again. Now only two sides are equal, 52 and 52, but one side is different. So side A is on over here, side B is over here, and side C is over here. Now side A is different, and side B and C are equal. So these two sides are equal, hence it is an isosceles triangle. Change the first side. and see the changes in the shape of the triangle. Automatically the perimeter and area, semi-perimeter of the triangle changes. Let us change the unit of measurement from millimeter to centimeter. Previously it was 72 millimeter, now it is 7.2 centimeter. Side B was 52 millimeter, now it is the corresponding 5.2 centimeter. Side C was 52, centim 52 millimeter, now it is 5.2 centimeter. The area is expressed in square centimeter. If you want to copy the diagram, click on copy figure. Paste it on any other document. On a PowerPoint document. And on an Excel document. Back to the lab again. Change the sides of the triangle. Copy the solution. based on an Excel document, Word document, and PowerPoint. Back to the lab again. Please see the note over here. Sum of two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side always. When you change the length of a side, if it is impossible to construct a triangle with those sides length, the lengths of other two sides will be automatically adjusted to construct the triangle. It is not possible to construct a triangle with any three values. In order to construct a triangle, sum of two sides of the triangle must be always greater than the third side. Suppose uh, we change the side length in such a way 
that it is impossible to construct a triangle just like this case so the third side or the other two sides are automatically adjusted to make the triangle construction possible let us move this side now when it reaches this right end we can see that the other two slides bars are moving to make the triangle construction possible let us change the color of the triangle to red again to pink delete the figure select labs